Well, greetings. We have all made it in Devo today to Ephesians. So congratulations, we've made it. Uh, that's a great milestone to get to. I love the letter to the Ephesian church. Man, this is just some great truths. You know, many, many people um, speak of, uh, and very scholarly people, uh, very, very spiritual people speak of the letter to the Ephesians as if it would be, if they could only have one you know, book of the Bible, it would be one of the ones they would choose. It's one of the top ones that people would choose because it has got so much in six chapters for us theologically and practically. So the first three chapters really discuss for us, just as an overview for your own personal edification. So when you read through it, you have some understanding of the first three chapters speak to us about our position in Christ, you know, who we are in him. And then it talks about in the next three chapters of Ephesians, so it's kind of broken in half there. So four, five, and six, those chapters speak more as to the outworking of our faith because of who we are in him. Then it says, you know, this is what your life should look like. And it gives you kind of the outworking of that faith because he is in us. And so let's just start with this uh, uh, chapter 2, verses 8, 9, and 10. It says, and this is a, a, a cornerstone to our Christian experience. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk that we should walk in them. So is it about good works or, or is it about grace and our faith in God? What which is it about? I mean, that's a lot of times the questions that I get when we come across things in the journey with the Lord that, you know, we kind of get hung up on our works sometimes and the, the list of do's and don'ts and shoulds and shouldn'ts and all that stuff. And when it's really this, this freedom we have in the Lord because we are saved by grace. So the grace is not of works. Grace is unmerited, unearned favor from God. So straight up, that's pretty, pretty clear. And we have been saved by that grace through faith. So in other words, our natural tendency as human beings is to affix something to, to have some part, I'm using a different word than affixed, but to have some part in our salvation. We want to be, we want to say, yeah, we did this and then therefore we're saved. Like we had some part in it. Well, we did in the fact that we opened our hearts up to God, but God gave us, the Bible says, the measure of faith to believe on him and that it was his grace and it was his spirit that kind of came alongside and started wooing us and drawing us in. So it is, I believe very clearly, a choice that we make to follow the Lord, but I do also believe it was God at work in his grace drawing us into that relation. I think it's a paradox, a parallel truth. But it's a gift of God. It's not of works, lest anyone should boast. So we're not going to get to heaven and say, oh, how did you get to heaven? Well, you know, I did this and I did that. You know, that's a boasting party. Yeah, there's going to be no boasting parties when we get to heaven. It's going to be, man, can you believe it? We made it. <laughs> that's going to be where I'm at. I'm just going to be, man, this is awesome. We made it. You know, I remember I was with one of my close friends, another pastor friend of mine. And the first time we had been over to Israel together and and uh, we got to the tomb and we looked, we went inside together and, and we were with our wives. We just looked at all, all four of us looked at each other. It's like, we made it. You know what I mean? Here it is. It's an empty tomb, you know, in Israel. And, and just the excitement. And man, that's not even comparable to what it's going to be like when we get to heaven. We realize, man, God did all this for us. And all we did was simply believe on him. But I like this. He says, for we are his workmanship. God's doing this work in and through us. And we are created in Christ Jesus for good works. So the good works don't save us. They are an evidence of his presence within us. And God did prepare our lives to walk out that life of following him. That's the good work that he's talking about. Man, let's have good works but it's all motivated by God's love and his presence in our lives. God bless you. Have a great day.